Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Lutka Making with Josh Sachs. Uh, here we are in the Beth Radham kitchen. Uh, just starting out, adding in one whole onion peeled and a couple of cloves of garlic into a food processor, processing everything until it's nice and fine, uh, basically into a puree. Uh, then carefully take everything apart, get rid of the blade, and dump out into a large bowl. Uh, you'll notice here that I've got a couple of potatoes sitting on the counter. Uh, those are Yukon Golds. Uh, you don't have to peel them as long as you give them a good wash uh, and make sure you get rid of any of the eyes. Uh, I've put in the medium shredding blade, uh, which you can either have as part of your food processor set or as part of a regular grater. Uh, I wouldn't go too large, uh, it just takes a little longer to cook, and too fine it might just shrivel up and uh, come apart on you uh, as you're frying them up. Uh, so I'm just shredding them through here. Uh, I get, I'll get rid of any of the big pieces that happen to fall through uh, before we start mixing everything together. Uh, take a nice big bowl of cold water uh, and dump all the potato out into it. Uh, this will help get rid of some of the starch and ensure that your latkes are nice and crispy when they're finished. Uh, Instead of Yukon Golds, you can also use other types of starchy potatoes, such as a russet. Uh, or if you're looking for something a little... Uh, on the healthier side, you can always go with a sweet potato. Uh, they, they work similarly well, although you have to be very careful about cooking them because of the high sugar content. Uh, tend to go a little bit lower for a little bit longer. Now we're cracking in a couple of eggs. Adding in our third of a cup of flour, uh, our baking powder, salt and pepper to taste. Uh, I'm just getting everything nice and mixed together and, and homogenous before we start worrying about adding in the potato. Uh, I'm just getting the tea towel ready uh, and I pull out about a handful of the pota shredded potato and uh, start squeezing out as much water as I can with just my hands. Uh, then plopping it in the middle of the tea towel. Uh, I'm going to wring out as much water as possible. I mean, this uh, being done in order to get the crispiest light as possible. Uh, water is the enemy of crispiness and the enemy of fryer oil. Uh, so you want to try to get rid of everything. Uh, once it's nice and dry, just take it out of the tea towel, try to break it up a little bit and then mix everything together. I like to fold in uh, after each addition of potato uh, just to make sure Everything's nice and mixed together. There's no pockets of uh, potato that haven't been mixed with the onion and garlic. Uh, I'm looking here, notice it's a little bit dry, uh, so I'm adding in an extra egg. And I'm just mixing it up. Uh, so once your batter is all together, we're ready to fry. Uh, I'm cooking over a medium heat in this electric skillet, uh, but you could also use a cast iron or any heavy bottom pot on your stove. Uh, taking about a quarter to half a cup uh, of the mix, dropping it in and making sure they're nicely spaced out and then giving a, and then flattening them down with the, uh, the back of this nice big spoon <laughs> that I have here. Uh, as you see, you can a lot of nice little bubbles frying around it. It's a good indication the oil is at a good temperature, not too hot uh, and not too cool. Uh, too cold and your potatoes are just going to soak up oil like a sponge. Uh, too hot and you're going to have nicely blackened outsides and very undercooked insides. So 
here I'm just doing a quick check to, to make sure that they're loosened off the bottom of the pan. Uh, you really don't want them sticking or else it becomes a bit of a mess to clean later. And here you can see I'm getting ready for the flip. I have the spatula and a middle spoon. And it just makes it a little bit safer. And as you can see, you've got a nice golden color on that one. And as we go around, uh, it takes about two to three minutes on each side, uh, depending on how much you, how much batter you're using and how much oil you have in there. Uh, we're just using a regular vegetable oil. Uh, no need to go fancy with anything. Apparently, I approve of of the look of those latkes as they've been flipped. Uh, just giving a, a couple of them a little more time on the first side, <clears throat> just to even out the coloring and making sure they're cooked through. Once they're finished, just make sure, try and drain as much oil as you can off of them, uh, and then set them out on a plate with uh, some paper towel on it. Uh, if you're serving them right away, you can just go ahead and plate them up uh, off of that. And if you're serving for a larger crowd, uh, what you can do is take a cake pan or a cake tin in the oven, prepare with some aluminum foil or a metal roasting rack, uh, and try to keep them upright, which will help maintain their crispiness. I'm just gonna get it ready for plating here. Uh, three is a good portion, especially when they're this size, with a nice big dollop of sour cream. And some chives, just for a little bit of color. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this has been Lutka Making with Josh Sachs. Uh, happy holidays to everyone uh, and stay safe.